Hey folks, it's Carl. I'm here at an Asian food store in Houston, Texas, and I shop at these stores all the time for everything I need for sushi classes, to cooking at home, to just my general interest, I love them. Asian food stores, especially in cities like Houston and Denver, have absolutely everything I'm looking for. The selection, a chilled sake selection, just about everything you can imagine. But I wanna show you and just give you a tiny glimpse when you get experience shopping in places like this, the subtle differences in price and product that can save you a lot of money. Whether I'm purchasing items in Houston, Denver, Atlanta, or Japan, I love Asian food markets. The selection of products and flavors are amazing. It's so diverse. I'm like a kid in a candy store. But when you gain a little experience in these stores, you can spot sales tactics that others almost never notice. In some cases, one sales tactic is modified to be used a few different ways. And although it could loosely be defined as the same action, they use it differently to maximize their bottom line. For example, tactic number one, the repackaged profit. This is a piece of unagi sushi named unagi nigiri. Now, unagi is a grilled, cooked filet of freshwater eel. And unagi nigiri is made with sushi rice and a slice of the filet of unagi. The filet is merely defrosted and sliced. Now, this Asian food store, as you can see, offers two different brands. And this one is labeled as AED Eel Unagi Kabayaki. Remember that, AED Eel Unagi Kabayaki. And one filet is $10.99. And yet when we venture into the sushi ingredients section of the same store, we find an unagi filet that's been merely sliced, placed on a bed of green onions and sprinkled with sesame seeds and read the label. Kabayaki for sushi, $13.99. A 30% increase because the store merely opened the package, defrosted it, sliced it, and repackaged it. You'll also find this tactic throughout the store. Example number two, using shrimp. This is called Ebi sushi or ebi nigiri. It's a single serving of shrimp that's been boiled, butterflied, and is accompanied by sushi rice. Now, in many cases, you purchase them like this. It's a pack of 30 single shrimp that's been pre-cooked and frozen. And as you can see in this market, 30 ebi are $9.99. When you do the math before tax, that averages to about 33 cents per shrimp. However, in this section of the same store, you receive only 10 pieces of the same shrimp repackaged under cellophane wrap for $6.99. Simply because they repackaged it to a smaller quantity, the cost per shrimp went from 33 cents to 69 cents. That's a 110% cost increase. So the Asian market doubles their profit and you only obtain 33% of the original package. Now, to be totally honest and fair, in other cases, the pricing does remain the same. No change, like this. Here's a package of Kani Kamaboko Premium Gold imitation crab sticks in the sushi section. And if you don't know what it is, imitation crab sticks are usually cooked and pressed pollock. It's a fish that's remanufactured to resemble snow crab legs. The cost of one package that sells in the sushi section? $6.99. And when we find the exact same item in the freezer section of the same store, no price change whatsoever. So you won't find this occurring on everything. You need to do a little investigative work. Now, tactic number two, a slightly different angle on the same tactic. I call it different quantity, different price. Nothing is repackaged by the market. 
And although this is a tactic that many people are familiar with, it's amazing how the price will change. Here's the basic strategy, and it occurs in every supermarket across the USA and beyond. They take a single box of one item in bulk and sell it for one price. As a case, it's less expensive. Then, they open up the case and sell a single item from the box with a 300% increase. Yes, 300%. The idea is, if you only want to buy just one item and you don't want to purchase the entire case, it will cost you two, three, or four times the price. It's insane. Now again, it isn't my intention to claim that this tactic is a new idea, but I want to show you how much of a difference it will make in your cost. And in Asian food stores, I see this happening a lot. Great example. Here we go. This is nori. A dried algae, sometimes it's labeled as seaweed, that is used in many forms of sushi. Sushi rolls hand rolls, gunkan, you get the idea. Well, in this nori section of this Asian supermarket, I found this. This is a 10 sheet pack of a popular brand of nori. The price, $145 a pound, and 10 sheets will cost you $7.99. So before tax, that equates to 79 cents per sheet of nori. Believe it or not, one sheet of nori at times can be the most expensive component in making sushi. But when I scroll down to the bottom of the same shelf, I found this. The exact same nori, 100 sheets. The price drops from $145 a pound to $39.94 per pound, and 100 sheets will cost you $21.99. Do the math. That's about 22 cents per sheet. From the top of the shelf to the bottom of the shelf, the price of nori, simply sold in different quantities, is discounted 72%. And like I said, this is just the beginning. Am I saying that these sales strategies are only found in Asian food stores? Of course not. I'm sure they're everywhere. And quite frankly, if you can find these tricks in your local supermarket, kudos to you. But if you do a tiny bit of homework in your local Asian food market, it can save you a lot of cash. Hopefully that was an eye-opening experience for you. Listen, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or recommendations, here's my email address right here. Do me a favor, click, send me an email, let me know what you're thinking. For journeytojapan.com, I'm Carl Rosa. Thanks for watching.